Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, Eddie Hearn has been talking about Dillian White's next fight, which looks like it could well be Kubrat Pulev. Of course, Sports Epic, Epic Sports Entertainment, I should say, won the purse bid. Kind of come out of nowhere, really, didn't it? But either way, they won. They doubled Eddie Hearn and Callis Sowerland's bid, or Team Sowerland, I should say. And... It's almost like Pulev is almost convinced, he's 95% convinced, this is what Pulev says, that he's 95% sure that the fight will happen in Bulgaria, even though Epic Sports and Entertainment are an American-based company. But ultimately, we don't know exactly what's going to happen, but Eddie Hearn has been speaking about the possibility of Kubrat Pulev next, or Luis Ortiz. So we'll go straight into Eddie Hearn's statement. This is what Eddie Hearn had to say. We have been talking to Epic about some different opportunities to work together on the fight and at the moment we are all systems go for that fight. We have got the opportunity for WBC to fight Luis Ortiz for a final eliminator but at the moment we are just proceeding with the Pulev fight. It depends on what they want to do. If they want to take it to Bulgaria I can't say we will be jumping through hoops but it doesn't mean we won't go. But with the amount of money that Epic have bid unless they have done a side deal with Pulev which we don't know I don't think they can do the fight there without hemorrhaging a huge amount of money. We'll have to see. We have to make a decision by Monday on what we're going to do about July the 28th. Can we still bring Pulev to the UK for that fight? I'm not so sure. Dillian is training for the end of July, but if he's fighting Pulev in August or September, that's not going to happen. We will have to see, but now all eyes are on Pulev and working with Epic Sports and Entertainment to try and make that happen and he goes on about Luis Ortiz as well about that possibility Ortiz has done it before of course and he'd want a lot of money but if we're guaranteed to be the WBC mandatory not the secondary mandatory or whatever people have been talking about Dillian would jump into that fight straight away he's absolutely got no fear about fighting anyone so Ortiz is much tougher fight than Pulev but a great fight that I think will really capture the people's attention sometimes when you're number one or number two with governing bodies these times are the most frustrating because you've got to go there and it just doesn't happen overnight unless you're on easy fight for someone you don't get the shots as quick as you'd like and dealing is definitely not an easy fight for anyone if you have a statement so just to put it all into a bit of a nutshell um so pulev obviously that's a systems go um Epic Sports and Entertainment have won the purse bid, they're American based, but Paul Levy is pretty convinced it's going to happen in Bulgaria. Dean White's not too happy about going to Bulgaria, it doesn't mean it won't happen, but he's just not too happy about it at all. But in an ideal situation, he would prefer to fight Luis Ortiz if the WBC can guarantee him that this is a final eliminator, not a secondary eliminator facts being he's number one ranked by the wbc dominic brazil was ranked number two so how can brazil be the mandatory when the wbc have already said that he's not going to be but yet telling brazil that he is the whole thing's fishy the whole thing's wrong luis ortiz obviously just fought wilder and lost so again now if the wbc can guarantee that the winner of luis ortiz and dylan white will be the mandatory then Dillian will take that fight over Pulev because that's the belt he wants. He wants Wilder. Ultimately, we don't know what's happening with Joshua Wilder just yet. So even if, if for example, Joshua Wilder was to happen, then it makes no difference if he goes for WBC or IBF because it'll be around the weight of one person, right? So it will probably make more sense to go Pulev. That's an easier route, right? Why doesn't he do what Wilder's done his entire career? Just duck everybody, right? But no, Dillian isn't that way. Dillian wants to fight everybody. He would love to fight Luis Ortiz. He said this over a year ago that he wants Luis Ortiz. Kubrat Pulev is the kind of opponent that he wanted, along with Robert Hellenius and a few others who were tall and rangy and much like he wanted Dominic Brazil. But again, Dominic Brazil refused to take the fight. Instead, he wanted Eric Molina, which turned out because the WBC promised him that would be for the mandatory which is unfair, even though Dillian is a silver champion, WBC silver champion, and he's been paying the sanction fees. So when the opportunity comes up, he will be the mandatory. 
to, or at least fight for the mandatory but against Luis Ortiz that's not a mandatory position that's a secondary mandatory so if Wilder Josh doesn't happen as an example Wilder will fight Dominic Brazil as the mandatory but then Dillian can't fight Wilder for another year or so until after then the whole thing stinks WBC corrupt as hell we know this it's very very obvious but a fight with Kubrat Pulev who is a dangerous dangerous fighter really really dangerous and but he'd get less money for fighting Pulev no doubt about that over three hundred thousand dollars I believe that is whereas if he was to fight Luis Ortiz Eddie Hearn's right Ortiz will demand a lot of money for that but in that fight Dillian White will be the A-side because he is ranked higher that's how it works but against Pulev Pulev's getting 75 percent which is ridiculous so from a financial point of view he's better off with Luis Ortiz bring Luis Ortiz to the O2 arena 20,000 people that thing will sell out like that and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would see that as pay-per-view so Eddie Hearn make or put the pressure on WBC bring Ortiz over here July 28 pay-per-view why not if you want to put it on terrestrial sky I'm even happier but this could legitimately be a pay-per-view fight this would be a fight Dillian White versus Lewis Ortiz a lot of people would have their eyes on that one no doubt anyway drop your thoughts below kick your thumbs up subscribe catch you all on the next video